What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The 90s Kid. I don't know if you remember, a few weeks back, like a month ago, we watched a couple episodes of Legends of the Hidden Temple. You guys seem to like that. So I thought, you know what? Let's do this again. But this time, let's look at the older show. Let's look at Double Dare. Now, you'll remember in my Legends of the Hidden Temple video, I talked a little bit about how Double Dare had more of a slapdash feel to it, that it felt a little bit more like there was a lot less planning going on with Double Dare. Like last time, I am just taking random episodes. I'm going to be honest, I got these episodes from the Internet Archive, and the quality of these episodes, like the the picture quality, it's not great. Like, I'm not going to lie, it is not great, but it'll do. It's going to have to. Uh, but before we jump into that, if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. That will definitely help my channel. Uh, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. It is greatly appreciated. Definitely helps with the algorithm and all that good stuff. From 1986, we are going to watch the Raiders, Raiders versus the Rams. The ball, score. So here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go! These two teams are trying to go bust by battling to break six balloons to become the winners of 20 bucks and control of the game show that doubles your team. What are they? What are they doing? They're popping balloons? Okay, that ended quick. I have no idea what just happened there. Oh, I love Mark Summers. I'm a good guy. Welcome to Double Dare. It's the only show that dares you to win eight great prizes by running through our crazy obstacle course. But of course, only one team gets that opportunity. Let's say hello to those teams, starting off with the Raiders right over here, Patty and Sean. Let's hear it for them. Okay, good to be honest. These these two kids already have something going against them. Uh, that is the fact that they are called the Raiders. I grew up being a San Diego Chargers fan. I don't really watch football anymore. I, I think, aren't the Chargers in L.A. now? As a Chargers fan, I was like obligated to hate the Raiders. Uh, and that hatred is still there. So, you know, already they got a strike going against them. We're going to try to move on. Good crowds today. Sean likes to uh, ride uh, bicycles. And s what else do you like? Skateboards, right? Skateboards. Any particular place you like to ride? Well, not really, no. <laughs> Just around the neighborhood, huh? Mm -hmm. All righty, good luck to you today. Patty likes to roller skate. She likes to also go on skateboards. And what else? Cooking. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's rewind there. Hold on. Boards and what else? Cooking. Excuse me? Baking powder? Cooking, 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 cooking. Cooking. Do you have any specialties? Mm -hmm. No, cookies, brownies, cakes? <laughs> cake. Cake, yeah. Well, that sounds good. Based on, like, the, the, the context clues that Mark is giving here, I, I'm assuming she said cooking. We're going to go with cooking. Let's say hello to the Rams, Justin and Amber. <laughs> Amber, what is, what is it that uh, what is it that excites you? What do you like to do? Um, I like to shop. I like boys. I like money. And you like to watch TV. You told me. Yeah, What's your my favorite, favorite show? show is. Um, you can do that on television. Right here on Nickelodeon. Good show. And Justin, uh, you have a favorite sport? Basketball. Yeah, you a good player? Uh, so and so. Yeah, you play around the neighborhood. Play at school. Dude, Justin, Justin, Justin's too cool for me. Like, I, I don't feel cool enough for this kid. Play at school. All righty. You are right. twenty dollars. You must be a good athlete. I don't give a shit about the Raiders. I'm all about the Rams. But uh, this team is going to be winning money as well, and I'm going to tell you how we do it right here on Double Dare. You can win all sorts of money, and I'm going to tell you how. What we do is we ask a question. And if I ask that question, and if you don't know the answer, or you think the other team is stumped, you can dare them, and then the money doubles. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the money, and then what you have to do is answer the question or take the physical challenge. The Rams have the lead by $20. They have control of round one. Good luck to both teams. Here we go. Who is Peter Pan's arch enemy? Come on. We're going to dare. Going to dare already. Okay. What Who is Peter hell? Pan's How do you not know that one? worth $20? Captain, Captain Hook. Captain Hook is right for $20. Her face. Her face. Go back. Go back. Watch the, watch the face. 
Name the special marking pen that Bill Cosby uses on picture pages. Oh, yeah. My thoughts well, exactly. Okay, what the hell is picture $20. pages? Name the special marking pen that Bill Cosby uses on picture pages. Going to double dare. Double dare, now worth $40. Name the special marking pen that Bill Cosby uses on picture pages, or you can take the physical challenge. We'll take a physical challenge. All right, we're looking for Mortimer Ichabod Marker. Mortimer Ichabod Marker. What the hell is even that? I'm going to have to do some research because I have zero concept of what that is. Okay, so uh, I've done a little bit further research here, and I guess Picture Pages was a show that was on like in the mid-70s. It was like for preschoolers, right? And it had uh, Bill Cosby, who was definitely sober the entire time he was recording. Because I'm stuck between the picture pages. Well, because my dad was a picture page. My grandfather was a... He was! Anyways, uh, there would be little pictures and you could play along at home. And Bill Cosby used a little pointer called Mortimer Ichabod Marker. So that's where that comes from. All right. Now, what we're going to ask you to do, we're going to set up a little uh, shooting gallery over here. And uh, do you like ducks? Yes. How about you? Not too much. You have anything against ducks? Anything in particular that bothers you about them? No. no. Okay, well, we'll see uh, how we can get even with the ducks. We're setting them up over there, uh, five or six or seven of them. And one of you will have a seltzer bottle that uh, Robin is holding. And what you have to do is shoot the ducks off with the seltzer bottle, okay? I, I don't know that you're going to get enough force out of a seltzer bottle to shoot a duck down. This is one of those times where I'm starting to suspect that the production team maybe didn't test this out, but we'll see. All right, you'll not only win the money. You want to move a little bit closer? Good. Let's move a little bit closer. Give him a good shot here. Now, you're not only going to win $40, but I'm going to get you a towel. You want to get him closer? Good. We want him to win this. How about right there? Good. You, got, you guys didn't test this. They didn't test this. They didn't test this. They don't even know where to set him. They don't even know where to stand him. They did not test this out. This is going to be a shit show. Guaranteed. This is going to be a shit show. All right, we're going to put him right there. Yeah. Heck yes. All right. Are you ready? Five ducks in 30 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Go. Yep. Get it up there. Get the other one. Get that yep. other duck in there. Do it harder. Good. Get more water. Get more water. You want to try another one? Go ahead. Give it a shot. Go ahead. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. There you go. Get the next one. You got. Get the next one. Come on. Get get the. Get it closer. You got to get a little How bit closer. How close is he going to get? And get in there. Come on. Hurry up. You got to do it harder. Do it harder. Got to do it harder. Give him another one. Uh oh. She knocked one down. Seven Come on. Catch those two ducks. Catch those two ducks. There's one. <laughs> Get it in there. Oh, no go. No go. This poor child is drenched over here. Can we get her dried off there? No money for this team. They uh, double dared, and that means the $40 goes over here, and they have $60. Let's play more double dare. That was such bullshit. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? I had to do that to get this job. How many peas did I use? Was it 18, 26, or 38? Oh, holy shit. Or you can dare them. Oh, dare. All right, now we're at $20. Uh, I'm not going to read that again. Uh, how many peas <laughs> did I use? How many peas? Oh, dude. Uh, 18, 26, or 38? Dude, Justin's just going to guess. 26. 26 is correct. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, Rams. Bring Jeff $80. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. If Peter Piper picked no, a peck just of a pickle peppers, guess. how many pickle I peppers did Peter Piper pick? Well, not bad. Okay, we're going to move on. Thank you. Our stage manager, Diane, thought it was good. Now, what we have over here, you're going to get messy? I bet you are. What is that mess? Heaven only knows, and uh, I don't think they're telling. What I'm going to ask you to do is both get down on your knees. And on the count of ready, set, go. Yeah, right now. Go ahead and do that. you got 10 seconds to find one of our characters. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. So they just go in there and get stuck that. a toy. That. Get it in there. You got it? Pull it out. And a Pull bucket of goo. six seconds. Grab it out. There it is. Congratulations. You got it. Aha. Nice job. Not, okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you, also, you also got your partner, Amber, right up there in the face. She looks good. Oh my gosh, you, this kid, Justin, is a freaking rock star. Her hand and let's get her off there and wipe I love her hands this kid. Off. You know what that is? No. I don't either. It doesn't look too appetizing. Go ahead and wipe yourself off. This is the guy that did it. We're going to put him right there. He uh, did a good yeah. job today. Okay, you now have $120. Is that like $20 over here. What is $100 that? Gross. First and second place. And here is your next question for Justin and Amber, the Rams. What is the name of the football team in the Windy City? 
The Bears. Chicago Bears. That's right. For the $10, Bears. The Bears. The Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Good cut. Okay, here's the next question. Florence Nightingale was oh, a citizen on, of easy. what country? Florence Nightingale was a citizen of what country? There. Oh, okay, together on, they guys. said it. England. Now we're $20. Florence Nightingale was a citizen of what country? France. France, France? incorrect. Nightingale? England is what we were looking for. Which of President Reagan's children once hosted Saturday Night Live? Ron Reagan. Uh, I need more information. His son? Uh, judges, uh, we cannot accept that. Okay. You can carry on. You've got oh, a few more seconds. Oh, if they had to say junior, that's bullshit. There. there. Uh, uh, the buzzer went. Okay. Uh, we we're looking for Ron Jr. Ron Jr. We needed the junior that's there. That's bullshit. Okay. Everybody knows who you're talking about if you say Ron Reagan, especially in 1986. That means Raiders get control. Here is your uh, question. In what year was Mark Twain born? Oh, easy. 1835. Oh, dare. We're going to dare. Okay, worth $20. In what year was Mark Twain born? Double, Double dare. dare. Now worth forty dollars. In what year was Mark Twain born? We'll take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Okay, uh, we're looking for 1835 in Hannibal, Missouri. Let's uh, move down quickly and let's play our next physical challenge before I slip over here. Quickly, we're running out of time here, gang. That's the other thing that always cracks me up is just how rushed every episode of Double Dare felt. They were like always running out of time, no matter what. I know this is filmed in front of a live studio audience, and what I assume is that they filmed multiple episodes on a day, and that's why they were so rushed, or there were multiple shows needing the stage. The only other show I remember being on such a tight time crunch as Double Dare was The Computer Chronicles. It seemed like every single episode of The Computer Chronicles, Stuart Chaffee was rushing his guests, like, oh, okay, 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 yeah, you're demonstrating this. I don't care, we don't have time for this. We, got, we, we gotta move on, we gotta move on. Okay, there we go. So. Okay, good. Would you slide the keyboard sure. over now to uh, to buzz? But this is this is better than 15 or 20 pounds. Um, it. Uh, What's runs your approach for... to the screen, Tom? Otherwise, know what kind of storage it is. Yeah. Know the video processor, the microprocessor. But anyhow, 200 megs minimum on your hard drive. 200 is what. Millionaire provides you with that fundamental knowledge that gives you the courage to go out and invest. Okay, Jim, just a little time left. An application for this might be an auto assembly plant where you're grabbing a, a metal part to be welded into an, another area. Okay, we That's have time maybe for one more, and I'll load your disc for you. Okay. <laughs> My men jump up and down for joy, and the crowd yells. <laughs> okay, that's great. We, we have just a little that's bit good. of time left. And we are marking okay. the product in over 30 countries around the world. Gentlemen, we've got to go. Hey, that's another show. If you guys want me to look at Computer Chronicles, I'll look at that. I Oh, gosh, I love the Computer Chronicles. And you can watch, like, every episode. on. That's not important. What, what am I doing? Let's get back to this. We've got a couple of cup catchers here. I'm going to give one to you, and I'm going to give one to you. What I'm going to ask you to do is move over on this side, turn around. I'm going to ask you to move over on this side and turn around. I'm going to ask you to take the ball and put it in the cup, throw it up in the air. You can either bounce it into his uh, container, or you can throw it up in the air and try and catch it in the container. You have 20 seconds to catch one ball. Do you understand what you have to do? All right. I just want to make sure I get this straight. So... The first physical challenge, I mean, and look, I'm still rooting for the Rams. I love Justin. I love Amber, okay? But I got to say this for the Raiders. The first physical challenge they had to do was nearly impossible. You know, getting those rubber ducks off the shelf with the, with the seltzer bottle. It was clear that the production team hadn't even tested this to see if it was even a possible task. Nobody knew how far away to stand. Complete and utter crap. And now... They have to throw this ball from one cup to another in 20 seconds. Meanwhile, the Rams had to stick their hand in a bucket and find a little plastic figurine. It seems like the Raiders are getting shafted when it comes to the physical challenges. They are getting the weird, experimental, difficult physical challenges. Just feels a little unfair to me. Okay, you may want to throw it up in the air a little bit more. Kind of, oops, more in that direction. Try and go up more with it. Try and go. No, you can't do that. Got to go way up. Oh, almost. Keep going. You got eight seconds. You're getting close. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Almost three seconds. Hurry up quickly. Oh, gosh. Time is up. Time is up. That means the money goes over here. Wait. Wait a second. Hold on. Let me rewind here. More in that direction. Try and go up more with it. Try and go. No, you can't do that. Gotta he had one up. in there. 
He's got one in the cup. He's got one right there in the cup. See? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He dumps it out. I think it must have happened when the camera was focused on, on the girl. I, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. That's bullshit. That kid caught it. No, this is bullshit, man. He caught one. I mean, unless it was like during the demonstration, he stuck a ball in there. Oh, man. I mean, that's cool. Look at all those 80s kids. I'm pissed. What a great audience we have today on Double Dare. Welcome back to round two. And that means all the questions are now worth double the dollars. For now, one thing I want to tell you. We went back and checked the tape during the commercial break. And we found out that, indeed, the Raiders actually caught that ball in the cup. Thank you. It was you. a double dare. It was Thank worth $40. You. Thank you. We're going to take $40 away here from the Rams. They come down to $150. we are going to add $40 over here to the Raiders. They're up to 60 Tightens the game a little bit more. All right? This time, we're going for $40 in control of round two. This is what you have to do. You have to put the ball on this plunger or plumber's helper. You know what's funny about those plungers? Like, we, we often think of those plungers as being used for toilets, but I think those specifically are designed for uh, like drains so like in the bathtub or a sink drain okay here we go on your mark get set and then the the go. toilet plungers okay. are the like type you got to go back get another one you got to go back okay, i know my plungers come on put don't, it on don't worry and good job over there get it in your basket okay we've got one over here and one over there quickly put okay. it on you got it right over here 40 dollars let's go back and play some more double okay. there in what country was silk first made? Pretty sure it was China. There. We're going to get now worth $40. In what country was silk first made? Well, double there. Okay, it's worth $80. In what country was silk first made? Or you can take the physical challenge. Physical, physical challenge. Physical challenge. It was China. That is the country that silk was first made. Come on down here, Justin and Amber. We're going to play right. another physical challenge. Are they going to give him another bullcrap physical challenge that's like way easier than anything the other teams had to do? We're going to play a little game with pies, all right? What we're going to ask you to do is take Justin. the pie and He's throw so it over this bar pie. to your partner. Now, who wants to be the person who tosses kid. it and who wants to catch? catch? You'll catch, all right? Oh, one thing. I forgot to tell you one thing, Justin. You're going to be catching with boxing gloves. Why don't you come on over here, uh, Robin, and uh, I'll hold this first. You can't throw. Uh, you're going to throw Amber. now. Okay. <laughs> I can't yeah, this throw is whipped cream. It sure is. Why don't you put the gloves on, uh, on Justin? And uh, now, what you have to do is catch the pie. Now, if there's a whip, oh, three of them, three of them in 30 seconds. Now, all you have to end up with is the plate. If you get the whipped cream uh, on you and you just have the plate, that's terrific. All right. You start off with the first pie right over here. Good grief! Right over here. You stand. You want to catch that pie. You oh, need to catch Justin three in 30 ready. seconds. If you do, you get this. $80. You can move up there. You can come right up here and just toss it right over. After you catch it and you have control of it, you can drop it. Okay? You need to catch three. Dude, this crowd you know what you have to do? It. You got Holy 30 crap. seconds for three pies. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, Amber. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't toss it quite as hard. Oh, my goodness. Careful. Stand up. Stand up. He's got one. Oh, good grief. This no kid catch. is a freaking Stand clown. I love Stand him. Up. He's playing it up oh so my hard. Goodness. He lost his bus and drove her down to 13 <laughs> seconds. Put it on. Two. Put on your gloves. You gotta put on your bus. Oh my gosh. He doesn't give a shit. Oh my gosh. Here we go. He only. Would you come here? Come here, Justin. Give Justin a round of applause. He did a great job. Dude, that here. kid does not give a shit. Oh I love it. <laughs> you only do I want some? No, not particularly. You you enjoyed that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought you did. Uh, okay, so here's something kind of interesting. You'll notice there that Justin tried to give Mark some of the pie. He's like, hey, you want some? And Mark's like, no, no, thank you. Mark Summers actually revealed that like during the filming. Oh no, it was like I think it was during his talk show. He was actually diagnosed with OCD. And actually, during this time when he was filming Double Dare, he was in the midst of, like, severe OCD. So, I mean, like, after the, the taping of each of these shows, he would go back and immediately remove his suit. Because the slimy, I mean, just everything that you would get on you during the filming of this show, I, I mean, just got to him. So, it's, it's interesting to watch him. You can kind of see that he's trying to keep it together. But, yeah, I mean, he's working with OCD and he's... He's hosting Double Dare. It's pretty incredible. On the old TV show, The Adams Family, what's the name of Morticia's husband? Worth oh, this $20. Is a gimme. Come on, kids. Morticia's husband. I need an answer. 
Who dare? Okay, now worth $40. On the old TV show, The Addams Family, what's the name of Morticia's husband? Gomez. Gomez for $40. That's what I'm talking about. Brings you to $230. That round oh. is over with by that buzzer. By $230, the Rams have won the game. Snap. That's what I'm talking okay. about, Rams. Almost caught up there uh, at the end. But you didn't. Nobody goes away empty-handed on this show. Harvey, tell them what their consolation prizes are. Mark, they get green slime shampoo. Gets you clean, won't turn you green. Now you can get slimed in your own shower. You get a month's supply of bubble yum bubble gum. Yum it up with bubble yum. Okay, thank you, Harvey. It's a crazy gay, uh, game and a crazy day here on Double Dare. Justin and Amber have uh, won, and they're going to go to the obstacle course. So let's get started. Oh, this part say? always looks so fun, that's guys. Oh, good. I just said that. I well, always said. wanted to do this. Ringer. If you could just back up a shade here, I will show you that what we're going to do is ask you to turn this crank in the direction that the arrows are going. And one of you will be behind, and this machine will spit you out as we turn this around. You're going to slide down this ramp. You're going to grab that flag, pass it on to your partner. And Harvey, tell him what the win. A video yeah. game, a super value from Atari. The new Atari. That kind of sucks. I I mean, if it's 1986, I want an NES, man. I don't want an Atari 7800. All the cool games are coming out on the NES. I'm sure that there are plenty of fans of the 7800. Well, I know there are plenty of fans of the 7800, but come on. Okay, after that, you will grab the flag and you're going to grab the tire. We'll have this tire over here for you. However, Jeffrey's in there. Oh my gosh. Poor Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey's having a bad day. Well, anyway, I'll hold on to him. We're going to take the tire, though. What you're going to do is swing all the way over there, grab that flag, and pass it on. And since I have Jeffrey, that means it's a gift certificate for Toys R Us. For how much, Harvey? A $100 gift certificate, Mark, for Toys R Us, the Baby world's biggest B. and best toy store. Your favorite place I mean, I remember Jeffrey. I don't remember Baby B, and I don't remember the girl. Okay, Weird. Amber, Justin, if you want to move down in this direction, also R.I.P. Toys R Us. Uh, it's the slide, Which, and but I think it's coming back. What we have back. here is chocolate syrup. You need to get up that slide as quickly as That's, possible. Okay, this is a classic platform. one. I think down this is in like every obstacle course. Cream. We have lots of sprinkles today and butterscotch. Now remember, you're going to land feet first or uh, rear end first into this pile of goop. Stand up. Grab that flag as quickly as you can. Pass it on. You're going to win this prize. The Fly Me Ooh. Skateboard. Seven-ply concave maple deck in the new fishtail shape. Furnished complete. Kind of sucks that the two kids that like to skateboard didn't make it to the obstacle course, doesn't it? Our next obstacle is the recipe tire run. We have eggs, milk, uh, gosh, I don't even know what that is. We have flour and brown sugar. Oh, poor Get Mark. As quickly as you can. Pass the flag, and you will win this. A new bike. The Ross Contact Lightweight Bicycle is filled with the finest parts available today. Beautiful. To look at, fast to ride. If you're looking for an elegant race, I don't know, man. I'd want a mountain bike. You are the stickiest human being I've ever felt in my life. I keep sticking oh, to you. We have a climb, and once the flag is passed, you have to get up this rope. Now it's a little loosey goosey, so be careful as you climb up this rope. Grab that uh, flag that's hanging over the other side. You can pass it on. That's obstacle five. Tell them what to win now. They'll win a portable oh, TV. You'll be able to watch TV wherever you are. With Sony ah, Sony yeah, man. TV Back in the 90s, I, I, there was nothing cooler to me than the idea of being able to take uh, a TV anywhere you wanted and, and always being able to just watch whatever you wanted. That, that would have been the coolest thing in the world to me. I mean, look at where we're at now. I can, I can, watch, I can watch any show I want at any time. I want. It's all right here. So, uh, the future is freaking now, man. What's going to happen next? You will grab this flag. Now, let me give you a little hint. The person who's mm -hmm. hanging over there, if you grab that flag and pull it off, the other person could be waiting like this to take that flag and jump into the tank, the dreaded tank. It's full of styrofoam peanuts. Jump in there as quickly as you can and grab that flag. Now the other person could be on the other side sticking their hand out waiting for the flag. You don't have to wait for that person to jump out. Do that as quickly as you can and you're going to win this prize. Your very own color oh, TV. sick dude. You'll be able to watch Double Dare in living color with RCA's XL100. Oh man, look at that. Look at that beauty. RCA. Once you pass that flag over to your partner, they're going to come over here to our bag of nuts. There are peanuts in here, thousands of them. And what you're going to do is try and toss them out as quickly as you can. We have what a, flag a stupid obstacle. Pull that flag out. Now, while that... Look, I got to be honest. These, these, are some, these are some of the lamer obstacles, okay? 
Later seasons would have some of the cooler obstacles. Like I remember some of my favorites were the nose that you had to like, you had to pick the nose and find the flag. There was like a sandwich that you had to look through. There was a pizza where it was like under one of the pepperonis. There was the soda fountain, like a giant soda fountain that you had to step on. There was a hamster wheel. Those were the cool obstacles, man. This is, this is early days, Double Dare. Again, they're just grabbing whatever they can. I want to tell you what prize you're going to win. A new stereo Dude. from... Look at that. You'll get this AM FM stereo system, complete with double cassette decks and Dolby noise reduction. Now all your records and tapes will sound great. Ah, oh, Dude, that's Sanyo. so fascinating. 1986, that, you're talking about your records and your nuts. tapes. Remember, I asked you CD would have been around, but it still would have been the person who pretty expensive. The, the, uh, flag out of the nuts will hold interesting on to that flag time. And come over here and jump on this side of the teeter board. They'll go down into some syrup, some whipped cream, some sprinkles, some cherries. But when you do that, you're going to lift your partner up. If they grab that flag in 60 seconds or less, they're going to win this. A fabulous oh. Disney vacation. The luxury Buena Vista Palace, an official Walt Disney World Hotel located in the heart of Walt Disney World Village. You'll dine in award-winning hmm. restaurants. Enjoy unlimited transportation. Any more if you want to be able to go on a Disney okay, vacation, you, you would so, have to win no it. So fetching you're gonna expensive. Justin, right? You're going to go through first. Make sure you crank this in the direction that those arrows are going. You can't go until I say yes, but uh, say go. But when I say go, you jump through there as quickly as you can. You help them along. You've got 60 seconds. Let's cheer them on, audience. On your mark. Okay, here we get go. Get set. Go. Come on, quickly. Keep pushing. Good job, through. Justin. Let's get it. Get the flag. Get the flag. Okay, come on. Get up. Get up on the side. Okay. You did not swing on that. That is bullshit. Get up there quickly. Keep no, dude, 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 dude. Walk up quick. the sides. Pull yourself up. Come on, get, pull yourself up. Keep going. Oh man. Going. You gotta keep pulling yourself. Keep going. You've got no, don't walk on seconds. the slide. You walk on the sides. Keep Come on, this is. Up. You're doing a good job. You're almost freaking there. rookie, Come on, let's man. Come on, Come on keep, Justin. Keep going. Grab it. You almost got it. Pull yourself up. You got 26 seconds. There you go, bud. Get up there. Come on. Get up there quickly. You gotta move a little quicker. Thanks, Mark. Come on down the slide. Only 18 seconds are left. Okay, grab the flag. Oh All right. my gosh, this kid cannot keep his foot, his footing. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, they're not gonna get it. They're uh, not even close. Not, not even close. Time is up. Come on over here. Justin did a heck of a job. Let's hear it for him. Come on, Justin Amber over here. Come on, pal. You're doing great. Oh, come on over here. Come on over here. You won some great gifts. Harvey, why don't you tell them what they've won? Mark, they've each won the video games, the Toys R Us gift certificate, the skateboard, and the bike. A prize Dude, package worth Mark, over $500. you're a freaking champ, man. $500. You did a great job. You won lots of money. Lots you of can't prizes. even tell Thank that he is dying money. inside we'll from tomorrow. having to touch all that stickiness. Way to go, bud. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of You're one of the good ones, Mark. Reebok, the Mark. official shoe of Double Dare, because life is not a spectator's sport.